15 million. That's how many people Walmart is capable of vaccinating a month, according to U.S. President and CEO John Ferner. The nation's largest retailer isn't quite there yet, but they are ramping up. You are in 35 states, over 1,400 stores. Are you getting the supply that you need to operate in all those places? The supply is getting better. We think we can do up to 13 million doses a month. We've already given about a half million just in the last few weeks, and we think we can get to, you know, a really big number. You've said that you're focusing on underserviced areas. What does that mean, and how do you select those areas? We're in 5,000 communities with a facility of some type, and so our team, along with the CDC, they've been looking at all sorts of data. We have a supply chain, and we have a team of people who are in a lot of a lot of places in the country. There may not be other options for them to get a vaccine. So we can play a really important role for, for communities that may not have just an easy path to, uh, to, to find someone that can help them get a vaccine administered. For a lot of people, John, trying to get an appointment for a vaccine has been a nightmare, to say the least. How can you keep Walmart from being another place on the list where there are supposed to be appointments, but no one can seem to get them? Yeah, we. Great question. Um, I'm really proud of our, we've got a product management and technology team and they've been working around the clock for, for weeks to get a scheduling system built, put together. And they did this in a way that's really user friendly. So you can sign up at, at walmart.com or you can go on the app, provided that you're eligible. Then if there are there is supply and we've got the ability to get you the shot, then we'll, we'll get it set up and, and do that. Is Walmart doing anything to address some of the doubts or questions that people might have still about this vaccine to convince them to take part in the program? We've been educating our, our own associates and using media channels to explain the benefits of vaccines. And we also think that it's important that you know that friends or family or peers or others that have gotten the vaccine are, are open about it. I mean, my, my intention is to get the vaccine when it's my turn. It's not my turn yet, but when it is my turn, I intend to do so. How about among your employees? Are they getting vaccinated? I mean, they are on the front lines as much as anyone else these days. We hope they do, and we're encouraging them to do that. There will people, I'm sure people that will decide to do this, and there may be some that decide not to, and hopefully we can get them the right information so they decide it's the right thing to do. But we are leaving it, of course, to our associates to make their own decisions. Walmart says as the vaccine supply grows, they hope to expand vaccination sites to all 50 states. The company's success, Ferner says, will rest on the strong relationship between pharmacists and the customers they serve. Many of us know our pharmacists. We know our pharmacists by name. We ask our pharmacists advice, and, and they love doing that. That's, that's what they went to school for, and they, that's the reason they got into this, is to make a difference in, in health outcomes and help people with their health all across their lives. Walmart wants to expand beyond the stores as well. They want to reach out into the community and have vaccination efforts in places like churches and community centers to expand their reach as far as possible. Hoda? Yeah, all good ideas, Steph. Thank you. And don't forget about a great resource we have. Everything you need to know about where and when you can get your shot, planyourvaccine.com. Hey, thanks for